In this video we're going to be looking to see if we can find out what uh, version of web software a uh, web server is running. Uh, we're going to use that just by using using a browser. Um, there's a number of tools we can use to, to find this information out. Um, but I like to use just a normal web browser. Uh, that way in the logs all it's showing is yeah, a normal request for a web page. Um, now we do that, if we do that from Firefox, so let's just, if we just fire Firefox up. Okay, once Firefox is loaded up, we just need to run Tools, Developer, Web Developer, and then Network. That should give us a split screen. So we're not really interested in what the web page comes back as, so let's just drag the, the bottom split screen up so we can see, what, see what's going on. Okay, so now we want to browse to whichever web server we're interested in. This scenario is to do bbc.co.uk in this scenario, and then we get back the requests and responses um, from from a the web server and any additional information from CSS files and JavaScript files. So we can see on the original location, all it mentions is server Apache. So that one has been already been restricted. So we know it's running an Apache software. We don't know what version of Apache it's running. So that, that one's been restricted, but we can have a look at various other sites here. So we can see uh, static.bbci.co.uk. Uh, we can see that one there is telling us which version of Apache software it's running. So let's have a look. This is running version Apache 2.2.25. So we know that, that we know the version it's running. Uh, normally, I would get customers to, to get that information removed. But if, we, if I was doing a penetration test and I had permissions, I would look on the Apache web server um, to, to have a look to see what vulnerabilities were running from 2.25, um, which ones were fixed after that. So let's have a quick look at the, the Apache website. So we need to go to back to our favorites. And then we go to Apache HTTP server. Once we're at this website, we can click on security reports and select Apache 2.2 security vulnerabilities. Um, and under here, it's going to give us a list of, list of fixes for all the various versions of Apache. Um, so in this scenario, it's 2.2.25. So there may be a vulnerability that's fixed post that uh, version that, that, we, that we may be able to use to, to gain access to this server. Obviously, you'd only do that if you had permissions to, to, to access that server. So let's now go look at the, the server check to see if there's any other information from any other servers that have posted information. So we've got maximizer.net, so some sort of link between them and BBC. That one just shows Apache, so that one's okay. Uh, iChef, that's just showing as an Amazon S3 server for, for a JPEG file. And fig.bbc, so that one's just showing there, it's just as Apache, so. So, so we, know, we, know, we know the version, at least one of the servers is running. So now if we can go to have a look at Microsoft.com. Okay. So we can see the original response is a 302. It's just a redirect. Yeah, so initially we get nothing on the server. Akamai Ghost. Scroll down to the 200, and we can see the Microsoft version is iOS version 8. So probably a 2008, 2012 server. And we also show the version of ASP.NET that's running. So with that same information, we can have a look and see what vulnerabilities that may exist. Um, there may be something that, that gives us access. Um, but it's all this information we're getting just by just by browsing normally. So the website, just the web server logs will just show us a normal uh, browse. And it's, you know, some, some of these servers are giving out information which they shouldn't be. So what we're going to show you now is just how, how we would remove that information. Uh, that's not going to make the server any more secure or it's not going to fix any vulnerabilities but it will make it a little bit harder for people to find the information out they still could run an nmaps version scan um, but we're not, we're not giving the information out too easily so let's go to my server i can see on here so look yep so currently running apache 2.4.7 um, and if i go to the 200 response for the HTML file. I can see also it's showing the version of P 
PHP software money, which is 5.5.9. Uh, down the bottom, there we go. Yep. So, what we want to do now is show you how to remove that information just to make it a little bit more secure or a little bit harder to, to find the information out, should I say? Okay, so we log on to our web server. Now currently, we win the etc php5 apache2 directory. So, if we just do a quick directory listing, see what files we have under here. Uh, we have the php.ini file, that's what holds the information about logging PHP version information. So we just vim that file and then we want to do a search, so it's forward slash uh, expose. And scroll down here, we can see one of the entries is, is expose underscore PHP equals on. So we don't want to expose the PHP version information, so we just need to modify that to turn that off. Um, and then we want to save that file, so X and exit. Uh, then we need to CD um, to etc then the Apache 2 directory. Now if we look under there, we look for the conf-available directory, so we just change into that directory. Should be a security.conf configuration file. So we're gonna open that file up. Okay, so there's a couple of options under here. Uh, the first one we're gonna look at is server tokens. That's currently set to OS. Um, we wanna change that now, so there's there's full OS, minimal, minor, major, and prod. And the prod value gives the least amount of information. So let's change that to say prod. Okay, and then down below that, there's another one, server signature. So this is information when people are doing FTP directory listings. Um, so this is normally off, but it happens to be on on this system. So let's change that to off as well. Okay, and save that file. Then what we want to do is just to restart the Apache server for these settings to take effect. Okay, now we're done. So let's go back to our browser. And we want to clear out the cache just to make sure that uh, all, all the files are the same as they were before. So let's clear that out. Then we want to just run, uh, click enter again to, to load that page up. Okay, then we go to the 200 again on the, the get HTML. Uh, and then we can see all we've got now listed is Apache, not the version, and we no longer have any PHP version information in there. So, at, although it doesn't re remove any vulnerabilities, it just makes it a little bit harder for people to get that information. Now, hopefully that video was of use to you. Um, if so, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks.